Hey guys, welcome to Sniper Assassin. So this game was released in June 2008. It's almost 12 years old. I was looking through Addicting Games' most popular games, and Sniper Assassin 1, 2, 3, and 4 are on this list. And I thought I'd been playing them for a while. I, I vaguely remember playing either this game or a similar game a long, long time ago. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys will know this game. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Instructions! Read the mission briefing first to know your target. Clues about your target are presented in the mission notes. Shoot your target in the head. Oh, good advice! <laughs> um, it's not like I haven't played any sniper games before because I did that uh, Detective Baldi game. Uh, so, kind of similar without the mobile gaming gimmicks. And just so you guys know, because sometimes people do complain that I play too many mobile games. Long before I played mobile games, I was playing a lot of Flash games. and. Mobile games are kind of the new Flash game, uh, in a in a bad way a lot of the times, but but it is what it is. Let's just play this damn game. Long range killing machine, that's me. All right, mission one. Good day, our intelligence reports that Mr. Johnson, head of the FFG Corp, will be out for the baseball game this weekend. FFG Corp is currently the leading manufacturer of textile in the country, but according to our sources inside, the company is also the leading distributor of cocaine in America. Your job is to eliminate Mr. Johnson on his way back from the game. Make sure that you eliminate your target. We won't tolerate having innocent casualties. So are we good people? Am I a good dude? I think I'm a good dude because I'm I'm saving America from from bad bad white stuff. Here we go. Okay. Mr. Johnson. Which one is Mr. He's wearing a hat. It's got to be him. No, no, it's not the guy wearing the hat. Well, damn it, how was I supposed to know it wasn't the guy wearing the hat, huh? Okay, well, we'll try again. <laughs> Let's read the notes. He's just back from watching the baseball game. No innocent lives to be taken. Oh, he's gonna be wearing something baseball related, isn't he? Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson, how was the baseball game? Your target got away. Hold on a second. Was he wearing a baseball hat? Because a baseball hat would be a good thing to wear at a baseball game! Ha <laughs> ha! That was Mr. Johnson. Mission one successful. Good job. Proceed to your next mission. I will. I will. Mission two. We have been had. The man you eliminated was nothing but a decoy. Oh, no. It seems that we have snakes within the group and I want them gone. From our investigation, we were able to pinpoint who these traitors were. We need them eliminated before hunting down Mr. Johnson. One of the targets will be arriving soon from China. Make sure his foot doesn't touch our soil. Okay. Coming back from China. So he's gonna be dressed like a panda bear. That's Japan Airlines. You can't get you can't get here if you're from China. You don't get on Japan Airlines, right? Whoa, whoa, China Airlines. Is that you? That's gotta be him. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, bro. Great job. Now we only have two more traitors to take care of. The death of one of them got the other two in high alert. That they have even hired bodyguards to protect their miserable lives. Your next target is hiding in his mansion somewhere. Find him. Remember to shoot only your target when no one is looking to prevent further problems. Okay. So don't, just make sure no one's looking. So we gotta kill this guy, but there's a guy right there. We don't want that guy. What if we shot, what if I shot you both at the same time? Like a little double, double headshot thing. You're not looking, shoot the guy. You didn't see it. You didn't see what happened. That was easy. Okay, now the last of the traitors got so terrified of getting killed that he had himself arrested by punching a police. Now he's being held in the state prison. He'll be transferred at another prison this Friday. The prisoners to ride the bus are piled alphabetically A to Z. His last name is Jeffovich. Really? A, B, C, D, Jeffovich. He's gotta be, there's not, is it, is it, no, is it you? Shit, I killed the wrong guy. How am I supposed to know? Hold on a second. I don't like this. I don't like the noises. Okay, trader's last name is Jeffovich. Um, are we supposed to do it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G? That doesn't even make sense. Was it one for each letter of the alphabet? That's kind of weird. Whatever. Splendid work. Now that we are clear of those traitors, we can now proceed. Apparently, Mr. Johnson is still in hiding. So while our intel are working their ass off looking for him, let's do a little neighborhood cleaning. Your mission is to secure Mr. Johnson's cocaine warehouses. Just to piss him off a bit. I love pissing people off. So am I, I'm clearing the warehouse. Do I shoot everybody? 
Kill the guards first. Kill everyone in the warehouse. Well, let's go with the people up top. That'd be a good idea. These poor guys, take care of them. Go down below, this one. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he kind of, I think he might have a gun. And then we can, oh, 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 that's okay. I got lots of bullets. Pew, pew, pew. Is that everybody? That was easy. Really got Mr. Johnson's attention there, but he's not getting out into the clear yet. And these gosh darn intel people of ours are not working fast enough to track him down. The next warehouse is heavily protected. Make sure nobody escapes. Eliminate everyone in there. Everyone? Uh, you first. And you. And you. You. Oh. Oh. Alarm. There's an alarm. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So we killed a guy next to the alarms. You can't set the alarm. You can't. You. Shit. <laughs> you. You. Got it. And then the other guys with guns should probably get taken out. Good thing this is a silent sniper rifle, guys. That makes things a lot better. I'll admit. Oh, shit. Oh, don't do that. You- Uh, what? There's another alarm? There were more guards? Where'd the other guards at? Everything is fine. No alarms going off. We just need to- Just need to shoot these little wiggly people. Hey, wiggly people. Quit- quit wiggling. You need to die, okay? Quit making that... Drugs. <laughs> Where the hell are you, Mr. Johnson? To be continued. I guess we're playing Sniper Assassin 2 now. Because that was short. Well, uh, a well-made game for sure, don't you think? I think so. Okay, so Sniper Assassin 1 had 15 million views or plays or whatever. Sniper Assassin 2 actually has 19 million. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sniper Assassin 2! Long range killing machine. Oh, guy in a bed. What's going on with a guy in a bed? Oh, that's the place that we shot all the people. That's me. Guess that's all of them, man. Am I tired? So he goes home to his little stick house. Oh no. Yo! Mr. Johnson killed my girlfriend, wife person! Sean Davidson, a government agent whose job is to hunt down and kill a drug lord named. Uh, Mr. Johnson. His service was cut short when he arrived home after his last cleanup mission and found his wife dead. Hang by her neck, a bullet sits snugly, smack her skull. Notes written all over her body. Stay away, stay away. Not good. Not good. I have reason to believe that my wife is cheating on me. Some of the neighbors told me that a man sneaks into our house when I go to work. Please kill this man, whoever he is. I'll pay you $5,000 for this job. Whoa. Dude. We're... We're a hitman now. I liked it better when I was helping the government cut down on the drugs, man. Okay, here we go. Now this this game has a lot more color, guys. It looks a lot better. It's pretty friggin' nice if you ask me. What do I have to do? The man. Is that the man? Is that the man going in the house? A man in that getting in the house. Don't you go having having intercourse with no no ladies. Is that it? Is that how you end it? Mission successful, bro. All right. Good job. That's 5,000 bucks in my pocket. Boom! Local hooligans keep harassing me, asking me for protection money. If I don't give them anything, they'll wreck my store. I'm sick of their bullying. They're gonna pick up their protection money today. Please kill them. I'll pay you $10,000 in cash. Damn, dude. What am I doing with all my money? I don't know what I'm doing with the money, but I'm gonna keep spending it. Mm. Making it. I'm not gonna spend it. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with my money, but I'm gonna keep making it. That's the one. Okay. Uh, these look like the protector boys. Hey, yo, protector boy, stop it! Quit, quit the, quit the thing! Quit, quit being a, like that. Easy. What the hell, man? Help! I think there's a maniac in our dorm. Every time I go back from class, all my underwear are missing. Please take care of this guy before he thinks of targeting more than my underwear. My dorm room is at the second floor, facing the lake. All right, let's find the lake. That's uh, this is um, um, that's the lake, second floor dorm. Where's the, where's the panty sniffer? Is that- are you the panty sniffer? Were you- That was him. I don't know what he was doing down there, but apparently he was, uh, uh, not- not doing good things. He's a bad person. We fixed him. We fixed him by making him dead. A man tried to rope my daughter! We caught him and took his ass to court, but our corrupt judicial system allowed bail and now this man is to be set free. Final bail hearing will be tomorrow. Kill this man so he may not cause harm. Uh, to anyone go again, they pay the judge to set him free. Now I'll pay you to bring judgment upon him. How much though? How much you paying me, dude? Because uh, everybody else been telling me how much money. It better be at least fifteen thousand dollars. Cause my I got it. My scale keeps going up. Okay, I got food to buy or something. Where is he? Is that him? I just gotta poke him. Poke him with the bullet. 
Mm, bullet poke. Don't worry, guys. I'm not shooting anybody else. I'm just shooting a bad, bad boy. All right. That's what you get for being a bad person. Dead. I'm a very patient woman, but my old and rich husband just won't die. 90 years of age, but still got the lung power to jog every morning. I'm not getting any younger, and I want his wealth transferred to me as soon. <laughs> he already prepared his will with my help. All that's left now is the reason why I hired you. Make it look like an accident. I don't want cops breathing on my neck for this. <laughs> Loving wife. Aw. Okay, how am I going to make it look like an accident? Is that you? Stop. Make the kill look like an accident. Huge things that fall from the sky can kill you. Huge thing, yeah, duh. Like a tree? Like a... What? Guys, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. There's no huge things to fall out of the sky. Tree branch, maybe? Am I supposed to kill this guy with a tree branch? Because I don't really see any tree branches that'll fall off. There's nothing really for me to shoot. Like, if I shoot the tree, nothing happens. Whoa! There we go. Now, what was... How was I supposed to- oh, it was a little tiny, like, break right there. Alright, I got him. It's cool, he dead now. Let's keep going. My son has gone missing a few weeks ago. We got a call demanding ransom money in exchange for my son's safety. However, the police found my son floating at the lake. Already dead. The damn kidnapper still pretends that they have my son with them and still demands ransom. I'll be meeting one of the kidnappers in front of a pizza restaurant and mobilize him so we could capture and squeeze some info out of him. Okay. That really sucks. Tranquilizer ammunition. Okay, so we're gonna trank the dude. So you're meeting at the pizza place. That's you. You're meeting with the guy. We wait for the boy that comes over here. And we shoot him! Hey, alright. Okay, it's cool. Totally inconspicuous. Nobody saw that, okay? Thanks to your excellent shooting, we managed to capture one of the kidnappers without making too much ruckus. However, this junk just won't sing. We tried all sorts of things just to get him to talk, but the bastard's too stubborn! Can you lend us a hand with this? I think you can land some stronger punches than us. Knuckles, boots, and anything that hurts. What? I'm beating the guy up now. Oh my god. Okay. Guts, life, fear. Let's hit him with a punch. Boom. Bam. Pow. There are a lot of really violent stick games, guys. Let me know what ones you want to see, if you want to see any. Uh, because there's a few on my list that I want to try. Baton whack. And gut kick. Pow, boom, ping. Tell us what you know. Kiss my ass. Oh, how about I swing a lamp at you? Oh, wait, what? Keep swinging that lamp. You can only do it now and then. I'm gonna kill this guy. He's gonna die. Swing a lamp. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. Keep on, baton whack, baton whack, bam. This guy is gonna die so hard. I'm so sorry, dude, but you're going to die. Mission failed, don't kill him. Use the lamp to help boost fear. Okay, I got it this time, don't worry. So what we do. We just, we just smash, we button mash, and we swing the lamp. Button mash, button mash, button mash, bam, boom, buttons. Love me some buttons. Uh, I don't know what's coming out of him. White stuff and yellow stuff. Okay. Is this enough fear yet, dude? Do, have you been, do you, are you scared enough for this? Swing the lamp, ask a question. What do you know? Kiss my ass. No, stop! We're only just swinging the lamp a little bit and then punching him to keep that level going. So that he doesn't, like, you know, stop being scared. But, damn it, it's not gonna be enough. I feel like it won't be enough. Uppercut the damn dude a bunch. Swing the lamp. How do we, so if we just kick him in the gut a whole bunch, is that better than, than the life thing? Yeah, kind of. And then we swing the lamp again. And kick him in the guts, kick him in the guts, punch him in the face. Kick him in the guts, kick him in the guts, kick him in the guts, swing swing the lamp. Kick him in the guts, ask him a question! Enough, please stop! Ha <laughs> ha, I did it! That was weird, that was really weird, but we're good, everything's fine, everything's fine. You persuaded our kidnapper pretty good. He told us the location of their hideout, it's in a small hut along the mountain pass. This is the last job I have for you, get over there and kill them all. Expect the place to be heavily guarded, spare no one. Your paycheck will be ready upon your return. But how much money are you giving me, dude? How much money? What do I do? What, the, what am I supposed to do here? Shoot that guy. Ah, oh, that's not what I gotta do. Kill them one by one without others noticing. Shoot them in the right order. Right, of course. Duh. So shoot this guy, because he's gonna see every... That's not the right order. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so... Uh, no one's gonna notice this guy dying. Or this guy. Or this guy. Now this guy. Now this guy. 
Right? Yeah! Next mission. Hi, Sean. It's been a while since you left the group. We know the accident bothers you till now, but I have a favor to ask you. We know that you are already starting started doing cleanup missions again, and we need you for a certain job. Can't give you the details now. All I can say is that the target has something to do with your wife's murder. I'll contact you again for specific details. It's time to get revenge! Two members of the board are planning to kick me out of the company by buying up my shares. They'll be leaving this afternoon to meet with the CEO, kill them before they leave. I hired a chopper to pick you up in a moment. You'll be paid handsomely. All right, let's go. Oh boy, I'm in a friggin' chopper, dude. Some crazy stuff is happening. Uh, do I kill both of these guys? No, wait, stop. What are you doing? Get me back over here. Let's go. What? Oh boy, you really, you really making me do this quickly, aren't you? Okay, I'm a good shot. I got this. Don't worry. Here we go. And. Shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! We gotta be we gotta be quick. There's not a lot of it's not easy to do, guys. Okay. Give me a break. Got him. Maybe it was easy to do the whole time. Remember your mission to kill three agents who leaked our plans to kill Mr. Johnson? Turns out that there are actually four agents under our wing who secretly work for the man. He leaked your identification to the enemy, making your wife a target. He's currently in Hawaii. Your mission is to immobilize him for questioning. Unfortunately, you cannot use tranquilizers. Find a way to immobilize him without him ending up in a morgue. No witnesses. Oh, boy. Is this him? <laughs> target hangs at the beach listening to his radio every day. Shoot the target when he is alone. Do not kill the target. Find a way to drive the people out of the target's location. Okay, so... Um, I gotta hit this ball, don't I? Damn it. Damn it. The... Got it. Okay, the ball has been shot. They're gonna leave. Like, oh damn! Shoot this guy's kite out of the air. You got no more kite. You better get out of here. And then I'm gonna make coconuts fall on the guy's head. We're gonna shoot his ra radio. We're gonna, um, those were all those were all the options I had, guys. The guy is not phased by all the gunshots. It's totally, totally fine. Shoot the guy somewhere that's not his. Um, there we go. We got got rid of his leg. Ha! Okay, uh, yeah, we're good. Here we go. Okay, find a way for fear to become greater than guts. When fear goes higher than guts, press space to question him. We gotta swing the lamp. That's what we do. Squeeze lemon! <laughs> Alright, we good, we good. We're gonna, we're gonna do this, okay? We're, we're kicking him in the guts a lot. That's all we need to do. Fear just needs to go higher than guts. Squeeze that lemon into his cut. I love it. Swing that lamp. Punch the guy a bunch. That's what I like to see. Kick him in the guts. I love that. We just do that until we're up all the way. Swing the lamp again. Boom. Ask him a question. You want more? No, you don't want more. Yes, I'm the one who leaked your information to Mr. Johnson. But they did not pay me to do it. They threatened the life of my family. They told me that they will leave my family alone if I told them everything I know about you. Oh, jeez. That's just the worst, because, I mean, I, um, yeah, if I were him, I'd probably kill someone else rather than have my family die. That's, that, damn. They had my wife and children at gunpoint. I had no other choice. You severed my leg, and I know it's not enough for my sins to be forgiven, but I know some information about Mr. Johnson. Please let me help. This is the only way I can repent for my sins. To be continued. Dun, dun, dun. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was... Sniper Assassin 1 and 2. The story is just getting more and more exciting, am I right? <laughs> if you guys want to see some more of this, let me know. Um, pretty simple game, for sure. There's a lot of stick games like this, as I said. A lot of... Um, this guy has two legs. He totally has two legs. Just saying. There's a lot of these games uh, in varying uh, fashions. Some of them are uh, like point-and-click types of games. Some are sniper games. Yada, yada, yada. Let me know if you like it. That's all I'm saying. And guess what? I like you. So so hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.